welcome to the Narcissistic Abuse Survivors Support Group, a safe space where we delve into the intricacies of narcissism. Our aim here is not just to arm you with knowledge, but to provide you with a deeper understanding of terms that are unique to narcissism. Armed with this knowledge, you'll be better equipped to cope with the challenge posed by narcissistic relationships. So, today we're talking about the concept of breadcrumbing. So what is breadcrumbing? And how does it manifest in narcissistic relationships? To understand this, let's take a step back and reflect on the meager offerings you receive in a narcissistic relationship. Have you ever been shocked by how little your narcissistic partner gives you? Does it amaze you that even the tiniest morsel of validation from them feels like a feast? A relationship with a narcissist often resembles a famine where basic human elements like validation, awareness, empathy, kindness, respect, compassion, reciprocity, and mutuality are scarce. In this emotional drought, even the smallest acts of kindness or validation are devoured greedily akin to surviving on crumbs. These crumbs may manifest as rare instances when your narcissistic partner puts down their phone during dinner or they ask if you'd like a glass of wine. Clients have recounted such episodes with excitement, cherishing these minuscule acts as if they were treasures. This phenomenon is what we refer to as breadcrumbing. Breadcrumbing typically follows the devaluation phase in a narcissistic relationship. It's akin to laying breadcrumbs to lure a duck out of the water, except in this case, you're the duck. Narcissists scatter these psychological breadcrumbs to draw you back into their orbit. They make you believe that you're only deserving of these breadcrumbs, not the full loaf of love validation and respect. The cruelest aspect of breadcrumbing is that it works. Many individuals starving for affection and validation in their narcissistic relationships grasp onto these breadcrumbs with hope. That one dinner where your partner isn't glued to their phone or that single day when your toxic friend actually listens to you feels like a glimmer of change. You cling to these breadcrumbs, viewing them as evidence that things might be improving. Narcissists are reluctant to invest in intimacy or deep connections. They disdain the vulnerability required in genuine relationships. After the initial love bombing phase where they shower you with affection and attention, the relationship shifts into devaluation and may eventually lead to discard. Your share of validation and presence dwindles. However, narcissists realize that they can maintain control and keep you hooked with more breadcrumbs. One significant insight is that narcissistic relationships often deceive you by aligning your needs with their agenda. There might have been moments in the relationship when your goals or enthusiasm coincided with theirs. These moments may have convinced you that the relationship was more than breadcrumbs, but when your needs no longer align with theirs, they revert to breadcrumbing. Love bombing is the antithesis of breadcrumbing. Love bombing involves lavish gifts and experiences while breadcrumbing is sparse and calculated. It might involve small gestures like your partner briefly pausing their bad habits or performing a simple courtesy. These gestures, although ordinary in a healthy relationship, appear monumental in the context of your emotionally deprived narcissistic relationship. Moreover, narcissists use these breadcrumbs as a guilt trip. They might say, I offered you a glass of wine last night, 
or I bathed the baby last week as if these isolated acts negate your right to ask for more. Breadcrumbing isn't limited to romantic relationships. Narcissistic family members, especially parents, capitalize on their children's willingness to accept even the tiniest morsels of affection. This can set a dangerous pattern where children grow into adults accustomed to receiving mere breadcrumbs from their parents. In workplaces, narcissistic bosses might breadcrumb employees with small perks or token gestures, creating the illusion of appreciation. All these actions boil down to narcissists' attempt for intimacy and close relationships. Instead of investing in deep connections, they communicate their disdain through breadcrumbing. Narcissistic relationships tend to follow a pattern of escalating bad precedents. Over time, you become conditioned to accept less and less from your narcissistic partner. Eventually, you become accustomed to living on breadcrumbs and even find it challenging to ask for more. Narcissists with their diminished empathy and entitlement believe they don't need to offer more than breadcrumbs to keep you tethered. To protect yourself from breadcrumbing and narcissistic relationships, it's essential to recognize your own worth. In toxic relationships, you must understand that breadcrumbs are not enough and you deserve a full, healthy, and mutually respectful relationship. So instead of settling for crumbs, consider sweeping them away and holding out for a relationship that fulfills your emotional needs. Remember, you deserve more than breadcrumbs.